Maybe you're dealing with a high cholesterol, or maybe you want to lower your cardiovascular risk and your doctor prescribed you ezetimibe, and now you're wondering how you could use it. Then this video is meant for you. We will cover how and when to use it, what side effects it can cause, what dosages you need, and much, much more. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you I am meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands, and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. Let's get started. As mentioned, the generic name of this medication is Zetamine, and it's sold under the brand name Zedia and Ezetrol, and it's available as a tablet. Which brings us to how to use it. If you want to use it as a tablet, just swallow it whole with half a glass of water. It's also advised to take this medicine at fixed times. This will make you less likely to forget a dose. Azetamibe lowers absorption of cholesterol, reducing total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. In addition, it also slightly increases HDL cholesterol. LDL is considered the bad cholesterol. It plays a role in the buildup of plaques in the walls of your arteries. Ultimately, this increases your cardiovascular risk, causing a stroke or a cardiovascular attack. In addition, HDL is considered the good cholesterol because it lowers your cardiovascular risk. Through these effects, ezetimibe can be used to lower someone's cardiovascular risk and lower someone's cholesterol. When you start a treatment with ezetimibe, it will be effective within two to four weeks. Which brings us to the correct dose just to use. And here I want to mention that you should always use the correct amount and frequency your doctor prescribe you, because your specific dosage might depend on your indication of use, the side effects you might experience, or the severity of your symptoms. So always use the prescription your doctor gave you. However, most doctors will start with an initial dose of 10 mg once per day. Now, ezetimibe is a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can also cause some side effects. I will mention the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, then ask your doctor, your pharmacist, or check your leaflet. Commonly, it can cause abdominal pain, diarrhea, flatulence, headache, muscle pain, or fatigue. Uncommonly, it could cause a high blood pressure, chest pain, hot flushes, inflammation of your stomach, and a decreased appetite. Which brings us to the safety of use. Ezetimibe can be combined with any type of food, it can be combined in alcohol when you do so in moderation, and it's safe to drive when you use ezetimibe. However, ezetimibe could have interactions with other drugs you're taking, and lastly, it can be dangerous for pregnant women and women which are breastfeeding. Therefore, always discuss this with your personal doctor. Now, I hope you know now how to use ezetimibe, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. If that's you don't want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description with more awesome medical videos. And for those of you that can't get enough, check out the Instagram or TikTok as well at How to Medicaid. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.